the centre circle. They have made QPR change round here. You can hear a few boos from the home fans. You know, play, clubs have a certain way that they like to kick. And uh, QPR have been made to switch round. So a little bit of psychology there. And uh, it does look at the minute like it is going to be four, two, three, uh, a 4 one, 2 yeah. 3 1, yeah. as we thought, with uh, Palmer and Bannon as a two. Windas left, Perveda right, Ugbo in the middle behind uh, Smith, with uh, Iorfa, Diabe, Ihekwa, and Famewo, the four across the back with Beadle in goal. And an early header for uh, Akin Famewo. Ike okay, Ugbo will look to bring the ball down. They Looks uh, like he's going to provide a, a handful to uh, Bambo Diabe. And to Michael Ahekwa down the middle as Isaac Hayden, a, a target of Sheffield Wednesday. Looks to work the ball out to the far side. Palmer's there, hooks it down the line. Michael Smith goes across. Good arm Good from touch. Smith, who keeps Great it in play touch. as well. Perveda will pull it into the area, looking for Windass. It's going to be, a, be corner. It's gotta a corner yet. Certainly so, and I tell you what, Michael Smith, what a touch to yeah. uh, bring in Perveda. Lovely back heel, Perveda then attacked, got to the byline, pulled it back. QPR concede. Sheffield Wednesday with a corner from the far side. Wednesday now the lowest scorers in the championship. It is uh, one of a number of Achilles' heels this year. But in these remaining six games, they have to find some goals and it could be anybody to step up. Barry Bannon stands over it on the far side of the field. Just one point from the last four games for the Owls. Bannon's going to take it short into uh, Jan Paveda. Brilliant, Wonderful feet brilliant. towards the byline, pulls it back in the middle looking for Ugbo. Deflected, is it going to stay oh, in? Stayed in, yeah. Stayed it in. is here. Oh, what's happened here? I don't know what Graham Scott's given in the middle, but the ball's not gone out of play. I think Graham Scott thought the ball was going out of play. A little chip into Akin for Maywell. For Maywell will look to deliver. It's hoisted deep towards the edge of the area. I offer will come in with a chest there. Paul did really well on the far side. Shair will go over the top looking for the run of Sinclair Armstrong, who will manage to keep it. the ball in on the left-hand side. Bambo Diabo, Bambo Diabo goes across there. Armstrong with a shot towards goal. It's low from the edge of the box, and James Beadle well behind it. Well, I mean, all that comes from the, the, the lofted cross. I mean, I, often, I thought did really well to chest it down, uh, but he just couldn't find uh, a Wednesday player with it. But uh, QPR broke quickly and ended up with a shot. Safely uh, saved in the end by uh, Beadle. QPR getting back in number. Bannon going forward to uh, Ugbo. Some space for Windass on the left hand side. Windass back into Ugbo on the left of the box. Pushes it past his man, but too far. And Steve uh, Cook will hammer the ball clear. What a wonderful run this is by Sinclair Armstrong to the uh, right hand side. He had no favourite to win the ball, but a clearance by Diabe gives it back to Chris Willock. Will oh, a great play. Does the shoulder on for Maywo, curls it goalwards, three or four yards wide, worth an effort. But a lovely bit of individual skill there from Chris Willock. Yeah, that was excellent. He's just dropped his shoulder and uh, left him for dead and tried to curl it into the far corner, but about a yard wide. One more downfield by Dunn, aimed towards Armstrong. Bambo Diabe's there for Sheffield Wednesday, gets it down to Liam Palmer. Barnsley behind at the Valley, Charlton 1, Reds 0. It's a great ball from Bannon. Wonderful crossfield ball. as well Out to Jan Perveda. Will bring it down and look to cut in field, plays it towards goal! Josh Windass a yard out, misses! That looks easy to score. He looked like he went down for the head, it's hit his thigh and somehow has not gone in. That is well, that's extraordinary. That is amazing, yeah. I, he's limping around in the box. He's really unhappy, Josh Windass. I think he's hit him rather than... Uh, I mean, Perveda, a fantastic ball from Bannon. Diagonal. Perveda cuts inside. I mean, I wonder if that was going in anyway. It might have been, you know. He will bring it forward. The second for Doncaster will be there in a, a few moments' time when there's uh, a break in play as the ball's going to go crossfield out of play for a QPR throw. So let's go back to Mork and Robbie Andrews. start for Rovers over on the uh, the west coast, we're here in the capital, 
with Sheffield Wednesday. Well, Pervader's gone down now. Well, they didn't look anything in that, no. which is a real concern for Jan yep. Pervader. Seen a second as. It's Kasama. It's Kasama that will come on. Big shame for Wednesday and for Danny Rule. Smith down the middle. Wins a flick on, but nobody's there. Jake Clark, Salter turns away from uh, E.K. Ugbo. Leicester leading against Birmingham by oh, a goal to Neil as Gassama will come off the right-hand side across yeah, the middle. Oh, my word. Drags I mean, it. Only about 12 yards out in the end. Yeah. Had a bit more time than he probably thought, John, and just dragged it wide a goal. Well, I, I think it was a... It wasn't an easy angle. He's gone with it with his right foot. You know, maybe he gets it out of his feet and he tries to curl it in with his left foot, but it was a great chance. I think Smith just slipped on that wet patch where the uh, sprinklers have come out before the game. Ball is over the top, one. Beadle's going to come, eventually gets his hand Brilliant. on it as Armstrong was coming through. Here's Anderson on the left-hand side, pulls it back to Shair, 20 yards on goal, deflected, corner, corner kick QPR. Yeah. Did well there, Beadle, came out. I think he was caught in two minds when he, when he first went over, he didn't know whether to come out and risk or whether to go back on his goal line, but it was one-on-one, -on -one. came out, got it away. The QPR have got the corner. Yep, corner near side. It's still a good 12 minutes here at QPR and defensive work for Danny Royal's side to do as Anderson towards the near post, it's flicked on and it comes off Jimmy Dunn in the middle. It's Hayden's gonna, going to keep it in, has he? No, it's gone out for a goal kick in the end, but wow, hearts in mouths for a second there as the ball sailed through the six-yard box. Yeah, I mean, we're right behind it, I think, from what, from what I saw, it was going wide, but... Well wide, yeah. I thought that was a corner, to be fair. I thought uh, the, he's bounced inside the area and Beadle's gone out there. And I think he got a hand to the, to the uh, player's shot. The uh, QPR half, far side. Graham Scott ushering Domayor for back down the line. Here's Gassamet. He's done well. Yeah, he's got away from two on the right. He goes to the byline, he's pulled down, he goes down to the Penal field. And it's given us a free kick. He's given it a... <laughs> Gassimer went down inside the box. Yellow card comes out on the far side for Paul, I think. The Wednesday fans behind the goal, the uh, referee's assistant and the referee going across there. A yellow card for Josh Windass for a running the, for across what? the field and protesting, which also seems pretty harsh here. Very high. Michael Smith looking to get under it, wrestling oh, away, and well it's an exquisite down. first touch as well as he gets the Can ball down for Ogbo. Can we get now a shot Palmer in? over to the near side for Fumeiwo. Fumeiwo is going to get tackled by Dunn. Six to one and a half dozen the other. Fumeiwo on Dunn. Home fans want a day yet free kick. Here's uh, Diabe out to the right for Iorfa. Forward for Smith, excellent touch Great off Palmer, player, first time ball in the middle. Josh Windass from distance, well, 35 yards out. It was very ambitious from Windass. I thought he might, he had that opportunity to have it, just take it another few yards. But, uh, I think it, well, it's very ambitious, you're going to have yeah. to do something special to beat someone of the likes of Azmir Begovic from, from, from 35 yards out. Well, Windass will go back to... Uh, Ehequa, Bannon is uh, deep. Ehequa now over halfway. Gasmer out to the left for, for Maywell. Michael Smith through the middle. Again, Wendy like... try and find uh, Ugbo, and there's the outstretched boot of Cup to deflect the ball away. QPR down the middle, real lack of quality from them. They certainly seem to me to be uh, a team today that have started not in a high gear and are struggling to, to get there. Yep. There is dirt, certainly, and, and John said this at, at half time. It's a game for, for Sheffield Wednesday to win here. They've got to try and up the levels, though. Stay composed, stay concentrated at the back. Try and find a bit. Danny Rurley's is going to try and influence things here with a couple of substitutions on the far side of the field. Here's Ugbo. Chance. That's Can he get there? Ball wide to the right for uh, Iorfa. He's overhit, but Iorfa will use his pace to keep it in play. Gassamet down the right-hand side. 
jinx one way and then brilliant. the other. He's done brilliantly. Gasamu, he cuts oh. the ball back into the middle. Windass is there. It's going to be turned in. It's gone in. Gasamu with the goal. Down. Didn't know too much about it. QPR failed to clear. Jenny Gossamer off the right-hand side, made it in the first place. What a huge goal for Sheffield Wednesday. And their battle to stay in the second tier. The travelling Owls fans erupt. And Sheffield Wednesday have a priceless, priceless goal. 59 minutes gone. QPR nil. Sheffield Wednesday won. Well, crikey. Oh, that is... Uh... That is massive, that is massive, and we've got probably the most important 30, 35 minutes of our season in front of us. I'm not even sure whether it was just a deflection no. that hit him and went in, or whether he managed to yeah, get yeah. some kind of considered touch on it, but great, wow, I mean, whether that changes the changes on the far side... Yeah. It was a great build-up, and Gassama did brilliant. And I thought he'd overrun it, I thought he'd overdone it. And we couldn't see the ball, because without many players, whether or not the QPR players have kicked it and it's ricocheted off him. Potentially Cook, who's tried to make the clearance in there, looked like he was going to, and he's he's just whacked it off uh, Gassama into the back of the neck. QPR puts it into the path of the uh, the pacey and strong Sinclair Armstrong, who's going to go past the heck where Andy Arbe... Bannon goes flying in, gets the ball, it's a corner ball. kick to QPR. He's got the ball, Barry Bannon, there. Well, the home fans are uh, a little on the edge at the minute. They feel a few decisions are going against them. Bannon had to time that well, and he did. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though, he's... Uh, it was a dangerous challenge, though. Yeah. His foot was off the ground, and if he'd have missed it by a fraction... I mean, Armstrong, he's a real handful, isn't he? Yeah, he's pacey, I'm really impressed with him strong. today. 20 years old. I'm really impressed with him today. Hull 3-1 up at Cardiff, corner to uh, QPR. Lucas Anderson, deep. Jimmy Dunn's there, heads it back into the mix, Bannon with a header clear. Shair, 25 yards out, sets it for field, who keeps it ball moving to the right-hand side for Chris Willock. Former Benfica man is being hacked at by uh, Domai Orfa. Then gets the cross into the area, going down is Steve Cook. Anderson will set it for Shaia, 18 yards out. Back to the left-hand side for Lucas Anderson. Anderson will shoot off the bar. Bounces down and away. Has it taken a touch off a Wednesday player? No. It hasn't. It's a goal kick. And Lucas Anderson, a lick of paint away from putting QPR level. That is amazing. Another amazing uh, moment in this game. <laughs> Completely on his own. Picked his spot out. I thought that was in all the way. It's and only about ten yards out or yeah. so, he wasn't that far out. Iorfa wins it from the right. Anderson beats Bannon in the middle. There's oh, for Mabel over Smith's the top. On. Michael Smith round the back. Uses his strength well, gets the shot away! A really good strike as well. Nothing wrong in the challenge. Clark Salter wanted a free kick, but Smith got it down. He forced a flying save to the left by Asmir Begovic, corner. Yeah, good strength from Smith. Waited for it to come down, volleyed it, hit the target. As you said, Begovic was there. It's a corner to Wednesday, Barry Bannon's across there. Excellent work by uh, Michael Smith. Again, that running battle with uh, Diabe it's and Armstrong. Ball. Armstrong's going to get the ball on his feet on the near side. Diabe goes with him. Sinclair Armstrong bursts into the what area. What a tackle that oh, was. Proper tackle from yeah. the Spanish defender from Bambo Diabe, but it will be a corner to QPR. There was uh, some feeling in that one. Yeah, again, Sinclair Armstrong running at us, causing us problems, but excellent tackle. Still Barnsley trailing 2-1 at Charlton, Doncaster 2 up at Morecambe. Corner here to QPR, trailing the Owls by a goal to nil. Anderson towards the back stick, Dunn's going to keep it in, Smith's there, can only knee it up in the air, played to the edge of the area for field, towards goal, Michael Smith gets a block in, Willock has it once again on the far side for Queen's Park Rangers, looking to go beyond Patterson into the area, headed over! Woo. Jimmy Dunn, six yards out, there was a touch from a Wednesday player on the way through that put him off as well, but Dunn will have fancied that one, thought about getting uh, scoring in back-to-back -back home games, but it's over the top. Field into the box for Anderson, back to field on the right side of the area. Oh, well Pedersen. Done, Pedersen. Brilliant block by uh, Christian Pedersen. The uh, Swansea Loney making only his third appearance for Sheffield Wednesday today due to injury. 
Gets a good block in there, and the ball's out far side of the field for a QPR throw. Football heaven on BBC Radio Sheffield. Five minutes to go at Loftus Road. Come on, ref, they time wasted. <laughs> Wednesday leading by a goal to nil, launched into the area, Pedersen down, no free kick given either, goal kick is given in the end, Pedersen thought he was fouled, QPR wants a corner, it's Sinclair Armstrong is it who's down in the area, there's a whole sea of bodies went in there, <laughs> but yeah, referee waved it play on and if it had gone in off that one it would have stood. Throw into QPR, 15 seconds of the six minutes added to play. Get it away. Michael Hekwa. He's not offside. Patterson through. Go on. Gassimer's onside. Masaba's in the middle. Wednesday here could seal it. Gassimer finds Masaba. Yeah! <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday will seal a huge three points at Loftus Road. The offside flag stays down. Gassimer, who got the first one. Turns provider and Anthony Masaba off the bench in the second half will score his first since the middle of February. But most importantly, Sheffield Wednesday will claim three huge points in their race for championship survival. What a reaction after Monday. QPR nil, Sheffield Wednesday two, seconds to go. We got the reaction. Danny Rural wanted superb goal as, as we broke. The great ball in from uh, Gasama and Masaba made no mistake. Great finish. I wish they could have done it ten minutes earlier, though. Well, the whole Wednesday bench was off. The away end is up and uh, dancing. Uh, there's been some uh, interesting results again. Everybody's fighting. Header away by uh, Domayorfa. Christian Pedersen forward, all eyes towards Graham Scott, who will blow the go. whistle. There we go. Booze from the home fans here at Loftus Road, but wild cheers and celebrations from the Sheffield Wednesday defence, from the, uh, the bench, from all the outfield players and those supporters away to our left-hand side. Sheffield Wednesday had a nightmare at Middlesbrough on Easter Monday. They had to respond today at Queen's Park Rangers. Barry Bannon challenges his players. Danny Rail challenges his players. They are bouncing up and down in the away end. And Sheffield Wednesday have got themselves right back into the mix.